it is October 30th, about 8.45 in the morning. And today's the day. We finally get headed towards the Middle Fork for our rifle deer hunt elk hunt bear wolf mountain lion hunt today we're gonna get the truck packed and get headed out <sighs> but first took all day but we are packed and ready to head out in the morning
catch one of these uh, draws and work up past the big purple bush there and see what we can't kick up. But it's a, a beautiful morning. There's nothing saying that we have to wait all season to shoot a big buck. <laughs> if it's a big buck, it's a big buck. It wouldn't hurt my feelings to get it on the first morning. So you're nervous? You feel nervous? Yeah. <laughs> Looks like Zeke has arrived. Okay, it's still day one. Came all the way back down and got Zeke. And now we're turned around and going all the way back up with, oh, probably 70 pound backpacks. Zeke's already way up ahead of me because he's young and uh, totally fired up. But we're gonna make it, we're gonna get up to the saddle, set a, uh, set a stick camp, stay for a couple, three days, see if we can find water up there, we think we can. So yeah, just a little bit at a time, stop, catch your breath. It's not so bad, but if you try and take it all at once, it'll kill you. They're all over that ridge. Well, Zeke, Zeke just passed his first test. We had two bucks below us, one of them a three point, and the other one was a four point. And uh, I told Zeke, hey, it's, it's a nice first buck. It's a full four point. And uh, he thought about it and decided there was still too much time left. And uh, 
I think he wants to see a bigger buck. So, the key to getting big bucks is not shooting little bucks. So, we'll see how that plays out. All right. <laughs> We made it to stick camp. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> How you feeling, buddy? I'm fucking tired. <laughs> You're tired? Yeah. I'm yeah. exhausted. That might have been the most exhausting thing that I've ever done. It's going to be worth it. Yeah. How many deer do we see? I don't even know if we can count anymore. A couple There's dozen a on the way, right? Yeah. And, uh... A lot of them are right up this ridge over here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what, three, three bucks? bucks? A fork and horn, a four by four, and a three by three. Yep. And you passed on them all? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I hope I don't regret passing on that four by four. Oh, you won't, man. The, a wise man once said, if you want to shoot a big buck, you have to not shoot little bucks. Yeah. It's just too early. It's just too early, yeah. My first day here. Yep. This is the maiden voyage for this little guy. Pretty stoked about that. Yeah, let's see if we can see how we're doing in there. That thing's turned up. Oh, yeah. We're killing it. All right. We'll see how the morning goes. spotted and uh it was about 700 650 700 yards away and so we <clears throat> got on the other side of the ridge and got all the way up to a spot we think we might be able to get like about a 300 yard shot so we're going to take a look at it see if either one of us likes it but it looked pretty nice so hunting above the clouds today <sighs> let's go get one Oh my gosh, this buck was down. He was down for 10, 15 minutes. Got all the way up to him, he stood up. Yanked himself loose, but he couldn't stay on his feet. And he fell another 150, 200 yards. But he, uh, he's pretty nice. Here one second. Okay, he still had a little in him, so I gave him one more. He's down now, and uh, I'm hesitant to get up next to him because how tough he was, but uh, he's pretty nice. And I think he's done. Got her done. I wanted this one for Zeke. I did. And uh, I got us right to the spot. It worked. Everything worked exactly like we were planning. We got perched up. And to my left, he and Zeke was on my right, on my left, in a spot only I could see it. I thought, no way is that him. And there he was, staring right at me. So I just put a frontal shop on him. Uh, Try to put it right in his windpipe. I thought it had done the trick. I really thought he was down for the count and got up and off he went. I fell down that hill twice trying to come after him 
and really had to stop and focus and make sure I didn't crash all the way down this hill with him. It didn't look fun. Anyways, let's see if we can give you a look here. That's definitely, definitely my nicest buck to date. And uh, let's give him a poke real quick. Just to make sure. He's down. Now the work begins. <sighs> One down. So we're all done ready to butcher them up or we're done butchering them up we're all done butchering them up and i don't want to come out the hard parts well it's not done but anyways what's cool about this spot is that you can see the spot that i shot my last biggest buck you literally look straight across over and see it and uh and then out here is my biggest buck. Pretty cool. The awesome horn. He <laughs> just got he um, the head and the front shoulder. He has both hind quarters, a front shoulder, one back strap, and the neck beam. 17. Get it. How about that, huh? Oh. No joke, huh? Oh yeah. We're nailing it, dude. <laughs> can't beat this. So came back down from spike camp yesterday morning, got about half the meat and the head back and got some resupplies and 
critical. You gotta have the sour gummies in large quantities. And some trail mix and dad needed a warmer sleeping bag. So gonna bring all that back up to stick camp and, uh, and keep on hunting. So this morning I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave base camp here at 4,400 feet and hike straight up the face to about oh, 7,000 feet and uh, meet back up with the guys. So it should be a fun morning. Oh, and it's raining, so yay. where things go to die because it's just loaded with bones like runoff from all the sides of the hills during the snow the snow melts and uh, everything comes downhill anyways <clears throat> I saw a real nice little three point on the way up right at the base of this uh, drainage and I tried to radio camp and I didn't get anybody, but Justin and John had said that they were going to come down by the hot springs this morning. And that's not far from where I saw them. That little three point, and uh, I just heard three shots behind me. So maybe John or Justin got lucky. It could have been Steve, too. He was headed the same way, just on the other side of the river. So hopefully one of those guys just bagged one. Or maybe I've got... There went another one right there. I do think it's behind me. I was gonna say maybe the sound's just echoing around and maybe it's uh, my dad or Zeke, but I think it's back down behind me. So I'm gonna keep pushing on up. Got a couple thousand more feet to go, so. All right. Well, I'm packing out really close to 80 pounds, hind quarter, and uh, got a four point, about two miles out of camp. I couldn't be happier. Alright, I made it to the confluence every drainage having to do with Range Creek. Our camp is right up there in the saddle. And uh, the spring is right up here. I'm trying to decide which draw I want to go up. <sighs> leading towards the spring drainage because it's going to be shadier to climb out if I go out this one which is the straighter path it has me going wide out through the open and I don't know if these clouds will hold long enough for me to get all the way across it and I don't want to hike up some steep hill with the sun beating on my back it's only 
40 degrees outside, but if you get that direct sun when you climb a hill, it'll feel like a 80 degree day, but we are definitely up off the river now. Runways back down in the bottom there. And just a little ways to go. Shot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Zeke just called us, or no? Just we... just rung us up on the phone. Yeah, and said he just missed the biggest buck he'd ever seen before, right? <laughs> and, and we said, "Well, stay on him. <laughs> are you sure you missed him? Go to where you shot." And uh, so we keyed off, but uh, he said he was coming down the hill. So we went ahead and made a play to get on down the hill just in case he was sliding away and stuff. We're down there about a couple hundred yards and uh, he radios back. I got him. So I went past that a little bit and then I dropped down to go find it. So I'm not too sure where to point you guys at, but I think you'll figure it out. Oh yeah, yeah, we'll have the radios. We'll be able to find it. We're almost back up to camp. We slipped down the draw. Casey was sliding down away from it. But we're going to drop a couple things in camp and we'll just start heading that way. Heck yeah. I don't know where I shot him at, but his shoulders are over his head, so I think I got a good one. Cool. Have you gotten right next to him yet? Yeah, I have. I'm right up against him. So, uh, what do you think? Is he hot? Um, I'd say he's got a tall rack for sure. That sounds good to me, man. His forks aren't as wide, but they're pretty tall. Sweet. Sounds like you got a dandy buck. He's a four point. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he's up there right now. Uh, I guess he's. His neck's just doing this little spasm, the deer, you know, so he was kind of a little bit concerned about, I need to put another one in him. And so we, we asked him if it's breathing or not, and uh, looks like everything's good. It's just a little twinge, you know. But uh, so we're going to head out there and see if we can get him. Primer, it's Zeke's bowl. He <laughs> shot for right here. Must have been right over yard. Right on that edge, and he immediately he lost sight of it right away. It just sort of ducked over and took off. I'll bet you he either dropped it, and or and it happened so fast, you know. He didn't realize that he just been knocked over. Yeah. Hey, got a little snow for the pack out. Yeah. Looks like. Yeah, that'll make it better. We got you. Give us a wave. All right. All right, man. We're almost there. Is that where he's at? Yep. Right there. Is that where the deer's at? You're standing right over the deer? No, it's pretty far down. Okay. We're on our way. Very cool. All right. So here we go. You want to just go up and down or go straight across here? That tree, that mid tree. Uh, it's a little, a little steep. I would say 
probably side hill. Okay. Well, no, no. Maybe we should go off. Yep, let's get to that ridge. Hey, could you pick a, a little bit more scenic spot? <laughs> Look at this shot we're gonna get on this. What? <sighs> Fantastic. Oh yeah. Oh dude. Nice and wide. Oh We're good right there. That's gonna work. Awesome dude. Man, it was crazy. That's like that? Yeah. Congratulations, so man. Intense. Yeah. Because he was right up here. Right on the knob, okay. Right on the knob, not right on the knob, but a little far down. Uh -huh. And I was coming up the trail. I don't know if you saw where my bullet shell was. Yeah, we picked it up. I was right there and I see his face and I zoomed in and instantly I could see he was just like this looking at me. <laughs> and I was like, what? And so I got my rangefinder out, shaking, you know, 243 yards away from me. So I was like, I gotta, I gotta take it. Yeah. Hold now, on. And I, I still couldn't tell how many points he had. I just knew that these were nice and tall. Yeah. Cause I saw him and I was like, whoa, and they were wide out to his ears. So I was like, that's a gimme. I gotta take it. Yeah, absolutely. That's a take. And oh, so he's like, real nice, right dude. Right as I saw him, I rocked the shell in, but I didn't do it good enough, uh -oh. and it kind of jammed up on me. Okay. And so I was like, oh, trying to get it down, and so I rocked it back, and did it again. I, I did the same thing again, and so. I unloaded two of my shells until the last one. I punched it in and shot. So you only had one shot? Yeah, only had one shot. And then I frantically reloaded and then got, I saw him come this way. So I reloaded frantically and started walking up this, the trail more. And I couldn't see him. And I was like, oh, I lost him. And I saw him run away. Yeah. So I was like, okay, I didn't, I missed. And so I came down here trying to find him. And I saw his tracks coming down this way. And I was coming down here. I saw a whole, a whole herd of doe running away so I thought he might be with them yeah. I looked over and then I turned and his neck was like his legs were like over his head and I saw his so his leg right here stick it up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and I was like that's him and man oh man that's cool. it's awesome dude I think I got him what? right there it was yeah do or die shot one shot here get underneath it so there's no chance of it rolling dad yeah. Zeke you stay right where you're at all right, man, grab a hold of that thing. Look at that. Damn. First buck. First yeah, buck. How many ever. guys can say this is their first buck? <laughs> and on, look, boy. and look where we're at. Can we see the runway? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can see the runway off there in the distance. You can't quite see our white tents. They're just tucked in the trees there. But that's at 4,400 feet. And this right here is, uh, oh, it's got to be close to 8,000. Because the shot's right here. Okay, yeah, which side was he facing? So he was facing this way. Okay, so you hit him back here? Yeah, this, mm -hmm. I didn't see, see an exit wound, but I saw a little bit of blood under his leg here. It, it, you know, probably came through at an angle. That's what, that's what stopped him. Oh, because yep. he didn't go far. This is no, no. This, four, forty yards from where you shot him. A, this is a heart shot or a liver shot. I think he might have just 40 yards. had enough to give a kick and then stumble down here. And, and his head had turned, and his antlers were wedged, wedged in. So that's what caught him. Lucky. Yeah, because when I went to pull his, his head 
up and straight. He started sliding a bit, and I was like, oh, no. Yeah, but, that's what I was worried about. And he's not in a bad spot at all. We're packing straight to camp. <coughs> yeah, we can side hill, and yeah, I don't just, think we'll have to lose much elevation or gain much elevation yeah. at all. It'll just be side hills. If, if we took an uphill side hill, we might catch the trail at a certain point, yeah. which would make the walking easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, let's, let's get to it. All right. Man. Congratulations, Zeke, dude. I know. I didn't even think I was going to be able to get one on my own. <laughs> All right, man. Yeah. yeah. No, I knew you were going to get them on your own. I didn't think I was Break at all. Break out. Break out. That's when it happens. Just a dandy. Both, both Rick, Wes, and you broke away from the old guys and got the <laughs> box. Awesome. Yep. All three first bucks, too. Yep. Yeah. Man. Good That's job, dude. Look at that. They barely yep, come. Yep, nope. Up. You're out past them, dude. And he's wide and nice and tall right here. These beautiful uh, I'll, I'll tell you what, dude. I'll tell you what. When, when you actually tape them out, it, it, might, it might tape bigger than mine. We'll see. I, my, mine's probably a year older, maybe. Yeah, he was maybe. bigger. Yours was definitely bigger. Yeah, he was a bigger bigger body. Yeah. But, but as far as uh, genetics go... Uh, I, I because you know mass doesn't gain you that much no. uh, when you score them out. Uh, width does, yeah. and so I've a I've got a feeling that it's debatable. Just wait till the guys see which back this thing scores higher. Not that that matters at all, but it is fun. <sighs> and check Sweet. these eye guards yeah. out. They like yeah, come yeah, super tips. sick. Yeah. Oh. There's a couple rocks here. Yeah. All right, well, time to get to work, you guys? Yep. yep. All right, it's time stuff. to get to work. You got something stuck on the back of your backpack. Four point butt. Yeah, me too. When, it's just, when you actually run by a bush and it's just there. And it's on your back. Alright. All set? Oh, yeah, yeah. Got some meat piling up, man. Mm -hmm. We got my two hindquarters and then all the meat off your buck. Yep. We're starting to get some meat, guys. That's meat. Yeah. yeah definitely fed. Yeah. It's going to be all right. <laughs> be too, uh, no, not too much turkey this Thanksgiving. No. Oh, Thanksgiving's coming up right after we're out, huh? Yeah. Hey, you have to big elk roast or something. A lot of those fat bees. Mm hmm. Pumpkin pie. We'll do some back straps. And... Oh, that's going to be great. Up there, over. Deer over. Wait, what's, what tastes best on a deer? Lots of sauce.
<laughs> That'd be a disaster. Fire All this polyester in here. <laughs> yeah. The stove makes, huh? Yeah. Mm. That's in the morning. Stick can't feel so civilized. Sure. But he had a big chunk of one of his antlers broken off. And, uh, and so my dad, he could tell something wasn't right about its rack. And he was going ahead and passing on it. And then we got a good look. And it was cresting the hill. And that's what it was. It was half of its rack was broken. So we passed on those two. Jumped a couple dozen does. Now we're speeding up because we're thinking about mistakes and rocks going up. So. But it's a rainy, foggy morning. Hopefully it's the beginning of the weather coming in. We can get some more action going on. Had a herd of elk uh, right above us, right where Zeke shot his buck this morning. Oh, about 20, give or take. And uh, didn't see any bulls when we saw Spike, but we gotta have brow tines up here. So we're headed back down. Get a day full of steaks and rock stars and trips to the hot spring. And, and then we're gonna head back up and go after the elk. So, we got one deer tag left between me, my dad, and Zeke. But we all got elk tags, so now we're elk hunters. We just came into view of base camp down there. You can. We're getting close. Beautiful day. I didn't have anything else planned. Well, we made it back to the Hilton. Back at the Hilton. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it feels good. The luxury accommodations are just. Yeah, look at all these nice things. Oh, they're it's so comfortable. I could hunt out of here. Right? Yeah. Uh, Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah, just hunt out of this camp. Come Check back here out. every night. Got a little buddy there. Oh, that's nasty. Oh, that's not look friendly at all. Oh, he needs to die. Cool. All right, for your game. Cool. Cool. You get that dirty job here. He's the widow. That's like a Yeah. Yeah, talk about luxury hotel. That is, dude. That is terrifying. Right. Boy, 
is off close to the pair of bed. I know. It's not okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a Kill his ass. There you go. Yeah. Is it? Get that red. Yeah, huh? No red? Know. Wait. Flip him up. Oh, yeah. There oh, it is. Yep. Black oh, widow. Dude. That thing's probably came in with this. Uh, you think it came in with this? There's a couple spiders on the, on the floor. All this stuff came out of the shop. Oh, oh yeah, because it wouldn't be here, I naturally. So. so it was in our gear. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Hey, let's go. Let's go see how the camp's doing here. Oh, we're doing, doing pretty all right. Uh, oh, you got a haul so far. Pretty chilly. Pretty wet. Hey, there's like three four points over there. Yeah. What are we doing, Dad? Yep. He is right there. Got this whole freaking draw. Look at him, Dad. Almost in the draw. Then slide on the pack inch by inch. There's that stupid thing that was up there, that tree. We took the whole draw home. Not for lucky. Oh, I just can't. The last little bit down there. straight up the middle and uh, we saved all of that mileage by just coming straight up that so we're gonna get some water we just heard that Justin and John got back with their buck and all their meat so that's good and uh, we got four bucks in camp and we're headed to our stick camp that got some snow last night so we'll see how camp did and this ought to be beginning of the good stuff. Epic. Oh, that's epic. Yeah. 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 Big we got three guys trying to get my dad uh, the biggest buck ever out of Frank Church. So we're all getting bulls. Yeah. yeah, and then we're elk cutters for sure that time. Me and Zeke are already elk cutters. All right.
Looks like these crows all found Zeke's cut pile. They're enjoying it up there. That's where he got it. And this low saddle right here is where our camp is at. So that worked out pretty good. We were just kicking some does down below us. That's why we stopped. But we are home free.
Alright, so my dad is sitting on top of that hill behind us trying to get that big bug from this morning. And me and Zeke are gonna go the rest of the way up to the top and go see if we can't see uh, what's over there in the other drainage. So, the elk been right on this hill behind us uh, the last three or four days. It looks just like a bunch of cows, but we're gonna try and get serious about elk hunting, so. very top we kicked off that buck a smaller three point and a fork and horn uh, right off this little knob right here all of them sitting on top of the hill and we're stepping in the freshest elk track we've had about to peek over this edge and then head up to the top <laughs>
Rustic camp dropped off some snow gear, light in our packs. And now we're uh, we're headed down. Let's see if we can't go find Justin's bug. It's warming up a bit. It's gotta be a balmy 36 degrees by now, so. to where Justin shot at this big buck. <clears throat> we, uh, we came from that mountain all the way back there with the snow on it. And uh, we're not far from dropping down on the runway now. We just gotta get some communication from them about what draw the deer was standing on and which one he dove into. So, wish us luck. So it's like 9 a.m. It's the day that John and Justin fly out and all morning we've been trying to find Justin a, a runway buck since uh, it appears that he did miss that, that buck last night. We, we all tracked it out and couldn't find any blood. We were real sure we were on his track coming off the top side of this knoll over the back and uh, it looks like he ran into the escape draw and uh, didn't appear to be hurt. There was, there was no blood, the track looked normal and he was, he was moving away. And uh, so anyways, this morning we thought we'd find him a runway buck and we did. So that's why everybody's getting all the spot and scopes right now, having a look, but he's up there about, about halfway up the hill you're looking at kind of up that center knob and then close to the skyline of the center knob there is a nice little fork and horn buck right on the does that that, that he shot at that big buck off of yesterday so same group there's already another buck sniffing around and so we're thinking if that big buck dropped down below he's probably going to circle around at some point and come get his does back because uh, one of those does is hot, she's hot, and uh, and that fork and horn thinks, thinks he's man enough for the job, so we'll see how it plays out, but we have the runway buck located, and if we can get word that that plane's not coming in in the next 30 minutes, we will probably send Justin running up that hill to try and kill that buck on his last day, so we'll see how it goes. Yep, that's him. That's the buck, yeah. And he's looking. He's looking. He's gonna come right up on him. He's gonna have a 15 shot. Yeah, he's looking. He's just feeding along. You got him. Shoot him again. He's down. You got him. You got him, buddy. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. 
Okay, he's rolling downhill. He stopped. He's he's right in the draw in front of you. G give him a minute. Yeah, he's down right in front of you. Uh, just give him a minute. He's still kicking a little, but you got him, dude. He's down. Good job, buddy. And I'm not kidding, but I'm pretty sure that's your plane coming in. Wait, those, those are just sticking there, aren't they? Okay, tell them, don't worry. Don't worry about it. He's got Let me. Tag. He can tag uh, just him. throw your tag on it. Throw your tag on it. Come straight down the hill. We'll deal with it. Yeah, I got him in the the camera. I got that whole thing on film, just so you know. Uh, I got him on camera, and uh, he's down. I think you're safe to to go ahead and move towards him. Get your tag on him and uh, come right down the hill. Yep, tag on the horn will do just fine. Good job, buddy. Good job. <laughs> Does he have a phone or anything on him for uh, Onyx? Like we can see him, right? We should be able to see him walk right to it. Yeah. Like he Yeah, I got the, uh, where the deer's at. I'm still on the deer. That is something else, right? <laughs> I can't believe it. That's a story to tell. Good morning. Good, good morning. morning. Yeah, it was supposed to be morning. That's all good. It worked out. Your timing was <laughs> unbelievable. Perfect. You My shot, son just shot his deer Okay, I've got Justin in frame now. He's he's on the right path. You want to tell him he's close, so Justin knows. He he's walking a dead line straight to it. I think he can see it. I'll tell you what. Hold up, real quick, Justin. Um, I I've got this whole thing on film. I've got you in camera right now. I'm gonna press stop and rewind it. And uh, and just uh, double check and make sure which bush I'm supposed to be looking at here. Give me just a second, okay? Hard left, right? Okay, now go hard left. Okay, you should be there. Hold on. Turn to the right. Turn to your right. Look down. Come straight down. Yeah, that bush right there. I see the first shot, but I don't quite see him yet. Turn, turn, turn towards us. Turn, turn back towards your left. Now come right down the hill. Straight down the hill. Okay, now come straight down the hill. He's directly straight down from. Okay, see the first shot. Some go left. Uh, oh, fear. okay, a little left, a little left. No, no. No? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now just come straight forward. He's almost there. He's on his left. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, a little more left. You're doing just about right. 
be looking. He's re you're really close. Right there. You got him? That's Sweet, right dude. Too. Hey, we got you on camera. Go ahead and pick that guy up and uh, let us see him. <laughs> there he is, buddy. Good job. Yep. That's okay. Good hey, man. Work. That's uh, that's as close to a runway buck as it gets. I think that first shot was a good shot and probably a heart shot. Um, go ahead and snap yourself a picture, get the tag on it, and start working your way down the hill, buddy. I'll do that. You got him pegged? Oh yeah, we got him pegged right here. <laughs> this thing's recording at the moment, so that's cool. Pretty cool. We'll, we'll have the video proof for the police oh, that really? this is in fact another man's deer and we're not just in here hunting on multiple tags. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> runway buck accomplished with their flight out landing as the shot was being taken. <laughs> just too awesome. So Justin's tagging the buck and running back down the hill to try and catch his flight. So we're going to end up on our day off, going up and quartering out his buck and bringing it down the hill for him <laughs> while he flies home. I'm actually kind of glad we did this. But anyways, what a day! Doesn't get any better than Fantastic. that. That was awesome. We'll have Mama nursing those feet tonight. Oh yeah. <laughs> How you feeling, Justin? <laughs> How are you feeling? How am I feeling? Yeah. Happy but hurt. <laughs> Happy, Happy but hurt. Good job, son. Good job. Yeah. Awesome. Dude. Yeah, you, did, you, did, you did a love this video. I can't wait. That's a cool video. You got to see it. me in it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 We started radioing in. Uh -huh. I had my gun like this, like going undrawn. Right. And I was just about to rebolt it. Uh, I started hearing him like. <laughs> <laughs> so it was good timing when I said, "Hey, man, they're right As in front we were of you." Talking, yeah. They're going around a draw. And you I heard wait, yeah. right before we started talking. I started hearing. I started hearing the move. So I unbuttoned this. And I started. I had my gun upside down. And then he started going, I started seeing him, and he just cued in on me. Yeah. Mm. Well, hate to shoot and run. But oh, I know. <laughs> no. I feel bad you guys yeah, got to Are you kidding? Up, you just got the sweetest deal ever, man. <laughs> Pop your buck, hop a plane flight out of here. Yeah, to bribe well him with a day. Thank you for waiting. Yeah. Well, well, after I you? shot with C, you just. <laughs> yeah, Aaron's like. <laughs> I said, and I'm not even joking, but I'm pretty sure that's your plane that just landed. Yeah. <laughs> you got iPhone, right? Yeah. 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 Oh, shit. You're all, you're all you can airdrop that, too. Oh, yeah. No, don't worry. You'll get a copy. Oh, yeah. Your nails hauling butt. Right on. Congratulations, dude. Thank Good you, job. Man. Yep. Oh. Right on. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you didn't expect that, did you? Holding back on the <laughs> Cinnabon. <laughs> on the Cinnabon. <laughs> I only baked it after all of them, but I'm going to bake another batch for you and me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Reward. Yeah. That's hey, awesome, dude. Hey, good awesome. job, Justin. Oh, no. oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, that was a blast. Yeah, I'm glad you went up and got him. Dude. We were so pumped. You have no idea. We were all sitting out here watching it, like, in binos. We had every bino spot and scope. Yeah, the whole camp. These guys were cheering for you. <laughs> like, yeah, so, a lot of happy moments this time. Yeah, that was nice. Well, so my first shot I missed, huh? Yeah. 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 Right in front of him. I was sitting on the side of the trail in a bush. Okay, don't turn my pack off. Right. And as I was shooting, I was, <laughs> did the leader. <laughs> And then he, you saw him just stand there. He just stood there, dude. Yeah. I revolted. I was like, okay. Yeah. Got my breath. And then around him. Turned and went like this. And that, that shot. first shot hit right here, huh? Hey, you got him right in the shoulder. Oh, yeah, you yeah, can exactly. see it. Yeah. And he stood up, was doing this dance. Yep. Oh, yeah.
that back shot hit him right in the butt. It, it looked like he took his back. Yeah, out. but it dropped back. Oh, yeah. yeah. Good thing he did. Yeah. And he's not 40 yards from the trail. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh sweet. That's yeah. great. So, yeah, That's good stay, for us. You just stay about 20 yards, 20 or 30 yards from that draw to the right. Yep. And you'll see him. Okay. And I came straight down into the trail, went back into my pack. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Good deal. Yeah, yeah, we'll head we'll head right on up there as soon as you guys fly on out. Yeah, we thank you guys. Oh, yeah. I need a proxy tag. You know what? Yeah, we need that proxy tag. Good living, shooting animal and let somebody else carry it down. Dude. Yeah. So bad. <laughs> yeah. No wonder you wait so long. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You would have smoked him. I know. Right in the morning too. So there's this proxy tag. Proxy res deer. Yeah. Sweet. That's what go. we need. And uh, the tag tag that's marked is on his horn. I got wrapped like crazy. Good deal. Right. Got like three sections of rope on him. Excellent. Yeah. Hey, and we got the whole thing on film, man. Dude, Fish the game wants to know what happened. We'd be like, hey, yeah, yeah. <laughs> watch it right here, man. So you got that thing on that, huh? Yeah, I had it Dude, on awesome. on the spot and scope. Yeah. I guess you guys gotta get going, man. Yep. Thank you guys. Hey, thanks, man. Yep. Pleasure. Oh, we're shooting him. 30 minutes after the shots fired, <laughs> in a plane, headed home. Yep. Don't worry, we'll take care of it for you, Thank bud. You. It's, it's no big deal. <laughs> it's gonna be an awesome movie. Yeah. It's gonna be an awesome movie. Yeah. Hey, good job, man. That was awesome. It was fun having you guys here. It really was. Alright, gents, we'll see you later. Hey, appreciate it. Yeah, my Pretty high. Yeah. All right. So Justin's gone. John's gone. And we're here to clean up their mess. Got my dad back here. He's coming. And we got the buck spotted. We're gonna go check him out. See. Oh, he's a dandy runway buck. Let's have a look at him. That's a nice ah. Hey, I'm proud of this one. We laid up last night and hatched a plan on how we were going to get Justin, his buck, and uh, and we came out at first light out of our tent with coffee and spot and scopes and, uh, and found this guy right away and then spent all morning uh, peer pressuring Justin uh, to put his boots on and climb up this hill and shoot this buck. And when his plane got delayed, he went ahead and put his boots on, climbed up the mountain, shot the buck as his plane was landing. And so we told him, we'll take care of it. Just put your tag on it and run back down the hill and catch your plane. So he did. Yes. 
I'm about to put it up and head back down the trail. Easy day. Alright, so what we have here <laughs> is what happens when you forget to pack the fishing pole. So your trekking pole and some zip ties becomes your new trail pole. I think it's gonna work fantastic. But if we uh we got a pair of them. let's see that thing Z. Lift it up. Okay. <laughs> Check it out, hold it up. <laughs> Need some black diamond fishing. Some black diamond fishing guys. <laughs> That's sweet. Think it'll work? Oh yeah. It's gonna work. We we're about to go slay some trout in blue crocs <laughs> with the black diamond trekking pole and zip tie a setup. Corky. This is gonna do it. And we're gonna kill it. We got a matching pair. <laughs> These bad boys are ready to go. Let's do it. Oh, he lost him. He was big. one. Way to get him, Zeke. Tracker pole special. still has a buck that he needs to get and uh, we all still have elk tags 12 days in another six hunting days to go I'm sure we can get him his buck and we're on the elk we've got him in a couple different places we just got to get some bulls to cough up for now, the focus is getting my daddy's buck. He's passed, I don't even know. It's gotta be over 20 now. And uh, he's still looking for the one. Meanwhile, we just keep climbing <laughs> and hiking and climbing and backing down meat and climbing. It's a lot of climbing. <sighs> My dad has got to be 300 paces ahead of me. He puts himself down and <sighs> makes it out like he's holding us up. 
whenever he comes with us on these big hikes. And the truth is, he's out in front of Zeke by 50 yards. And he's a couple hundred yards ahead of me. And, uh, he, he <laughs> I quit trying to keep up with him years ago. He just sets his own pace and beats us all up the hill at 67. So maybe we'll all be that lucky at 67. Anyways, so I think we're gonna go most of the way up and then get on the ridge. Uh, we've been eyeballing this little shortcut. We think we might be able to hunt the ridge backwards to stick camp instead of going to stick camp and then getting on the ridge and hunting this way. So we're gonna try it a little different this morning, see if we can't trick one of them old kaji bucks into coming out of hiding, so. Let's do it. Got several deer on this ridge. And I don't know if my dad sees him yet. We're trying to catch up to him to point him out.
saw a crack wall. All I, I saw I, were big points. I, I, I see it on this one real clear. The bottom one we came out of was about like this. And when he turned his head, his ears were still at this angle, mm -hmm. and the rack was inside, mm -hmm. the, especially the back beam. So that reminds me of come out a little bit more, but he wasn't. It, 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 that's, that's a lot of work for me. How are you, buddy? You look bigger over here. That's why I can take this. This is the second body that's in here. It's all the way. to plan and it was pretty deep down in the draw so uh, me and Zeke agreed to come down and see if we could uh, locate my dad's buck and we did so you can probably see Zeke coming down that hill in the background right around there and he's working his way over here to help me out we're gonna pack this thing back out of the mountain for the for the old man and uh, so he 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 got a lot of time to look at it through the scope but uh, sometimes these things grow on the ground, and so I have a feeling he's gonna be pretty, pretty excited about about this guy. Making our way back up with my dad's buck. I have a feeling he's gonna be pretty, pretty happy
Oh yeah. Um, you don't play yourself short, you got him. I got him. Yeah, you got him. Yeah. Oh man. Okay, I'm cooking. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> Hey, like that, huh? Yeah, it's just what are you young guys for? <laughs> Surround yourself with you. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's three of them. We did it. They're all down. All here. off of this spike camp. We did it. All three. All three of them. Toads. <laughs> Pretty successful yeah. spike camp. Yeah. All right, well, the safe, safest thing is to go off this side, yeah. Than try to side hill that nasty thing. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm looking forward to a flat trail. Okay. I'm done side hilling. Me too. Oh, I need to rest a second, too. I got a, yeah, yeah. Got a cramp trying to happen. Oh. I need some potassium. I got All right. Oh. had about 25 elk come out right in front of us and there was a bull that was a three point but did not have brow tines and they've got to have brow tines in order to be able to take them so and just watch them run away that was painful yeah that sucks Well, only 19 switchbacks to go. Yeah. <laughs> but we're still good so far, huh? Yeah. Oh, we're we're over halfway down. Yeah. What a morning. Like yeah. 60, 70 elk. Yeah. Lots of deer. Wolf. Yeah. Wolves. What an awesome place. This place is awesome. This is it. Yeah. Real America. Yeah. There's Rockstar in the tent. Oh yeah. <laughs> spike camp get it back down the hill so we don't have to worry about it and we'll have three more days full days before the plane comes to get us so we still got our elk tags elk have been up here so there's a chance uh, sounds like elk are mostly up there above the snow line 
which this hill that we're on gets right to the snow line, but that's about it. it stops about 8,000 feet. And apparently most of the big bulls are up at about 9,000. We'd have to go over there to get them. And we're just running out of time, but <clears throat> we did. We did have 60 or 70 head of elk right in front of us on our way out of here yesterday morning. And there was one almost legal. And we checked him out and he definitely wasn't legal. So there's a chance. And if we do get one, we'll really be in for it. Because it takes us, you know, half a one trip down to get the spike camp down and and then an elk would take another two full trips so that's about as much as you can squeeze in, in three days so here's to hoping that happens so we can work our asses off the rest of the trip Bust some elk and make the last 72 hours the most difficult of the whole yeah, trip. Exactly I'm ready for some serious misery. Yeah. Be nice. Right around this bend. Yep, right around the bend's where we saw him. So there's still time to uh, to ruin everything. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Stick camp on the head, right in that low saddle there. And to our right, it's the spring we've been using to get all of our water. So it makes the stick camp up here even possible. You couldn't stay up here for more than a day or two with the water you can carry on your back. You gotta be able to find a clean source of drinking water. There just so happens to be a spring right here in this pleasant little valley. I believe they're not in this shot. You can see the shooting locations, more or less, of all three of our big bucks this year, so. Some rows down there along the trail that are like this. Yeah, this thing's big probably ones. three, three hundred, maybe four hundred years old. Cow. Yeah, look at all the rings. And that's just on this uh, branch. Just on the branch, you know, a dead branch on the side of the tree that you just snap off. Wow, that's cool. the last morning at the stick camp. Here it is. Another dirty deed. Look at all that trash. I know. I'm gonna get this whole thing cleaned up here. Oh, we're very tidy. It looks great in there. Price to be paid for a spike camp at the top. Yep, this is a spike camp. It has three oh, good to go down with it. Three backpacks yeah, that look like that.
hard to make sense of it almost doesn't even look like backpack there's our camp spot like we were never here well except for some pre-prepared whoop i see a piece of paper and Ooh. Boy. Look at those bad dads. They are no joke, man. I'm going to weight you down a little bit. Oh, man. I know. I know. Dang it. It ain't done so right, but. It's in my pocket. I think I got something. Oh, I've got something in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Custom made. Oh man, I ripped both of those. Things. Don't oh, worry about it. They don't say it's with junk. Surprise me, you still function at all. Boy, that makes my back hurt looking at it. Yeah. Yeah, it does. But that's what you gotta have if, if you want a wood burning stove. In your three-man stick camp with, cozy, cozy. with cots and thermorest and pillows and toasty. Yeah. Well worth it. And those efforts yielded three nice bucks. Yep, there's a buck to show for each one of them backpacks. Oh yeah, there is. Oh man. That might be a little too long.